Hello everyone, we are in 41D Functional Consultants Bootcamp. So already I have discussed how I have organized this 41 days. That is the first day. Day one will be about um, introduction to functional consultant. Following that day two will be the exercises. I'll be giving you a detailed exercise uh, on the day one. Uh, on based on the day one content and uh, day three will be the solution i'll be discussing the solution for the exercises which i have given and day four will be the next level of um, uh, co content okay so this is how it is organized so the day one everyone can see the public and day two and day three that is exercise and solutions are specifically meant for the members okay Ex only exclusive for the members so you can see here if you want to join as a member you can see it here and you can join as a member okay and um, this is a functional consultant already uh, i have uploaded few videos for specifically for the functional content consultants you can watch it so now, now let us start with the day one okay so this is the agenda for day one overview of functional consulting Difference between a functional consultant and a technical consultant. Role and importance of functional consultants in Business Central. Role of functional consultants in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. Uh, key skills and competencies, scenario and checklist. And the next day, okay, like um, uh, the next day content. So this is how it is organized because uh, if you are a fresher, so this uh, complete um, boot camp is organized for right from the beginners towards the intermediate level okay i'll be covering most of the topic if you have missed the overview of these boot camp please go and watch the previous video so let us understand overview of functional consulting so functional consulting involves advising organizations on the optimization of their business processes and strategies focusing primarily uh, on the functionality of business system so you will be uh, focusing specifically on the functionality of the business system and if you talk about the scope of functional consultants includes understanding business requirements okay so you have to understand the business requirement process mapping so we'll be discussing about process mapping as well system configuration you should understand the system configuration and ensuring the technology solutions meet business needs properly so all these things you have to just take care of as a business central sorry as a functional consultant this is generic for functional consultant i am not only telling for the business central functional consultants okay this is specifically whoever wants to become a functional consultant who should know what all these things okay so as a fun uh, functional consultant your scope is to understand the business requirement process ma mapping system configuration and you should ensure that technology solution meets the business need and what is the goal of a business and sorry what is the goal of a functional consultant to bridge the gap what gap between the business needs and the technical solution ensuring that the business derives maximum value from its it investments so this is what your ultimate goal should be so let us move to the next topic what is the difference between a functional consultant and a technical consultant so functional consultant will primarily focus on business process and requirements as i told and he will be translating business needs into a system requirement so so whenever a business has any requirements so he functional consultant will be uh, a bridge between the business and the technical consultant okay and he'll be more work uh, more closely with the end users and the stakeholders and he require a deep understanding of business strategies and processes whereas the technical consultant he should focus on the technical aspects of a solution like like uh, writing a code uh, system architecture data migration and everything implement customize and troubleshoot technical solutions and he should require a strong technical and programming skills so this is what the basic difference between uh, every functional consultant and the technical consultant so in some scenarios the roles may overlap okay but generally they cater to distinct aspects of system implementation and management who business central sorry functional consultant will be um, uh, will be taking care of the system implementation and the management okay so role and importance of a functional consultant in business central as i told 
the he will act as a bridge okay bridge between business and it ensuring the technology solutions align with business goals and identifying areas of for process improvement and help in optimizing and streamlining business operations play a key role in managing organizational change that comes with new system implementation or updates whereas he is very important for change management and assist in strategic planning by providing insights on how technology can be leveraged to achieve business objectives so these are the major role and importance of a functional consultant whereas there are various other thing as well but this plays an important role so role of functional consultant in microsoft dynamics 365 business central so a business process and analysis mapping this is analyzing clients business process and requirement and mapping these processes to functionalities within ms dynamics that is microsoft dynamics 365 business central so the next one is what the system configuration uh, system customization and configuration so customize and configure the system to meet the specific needs of the business ensure the system aligns with the client's operational workflow next one is data migration and integration assist in migration data from a legacy system to microsoft dynamics um, 365 business central ensure smooth integration with existing systems and third party applications and training and user support conduct training sessions for end users and provide ongoing support and assistance to the users next one is solution implementation and deployment guide uh, the implementation like he has to guide the implementation of microsoft dynamics 365 business central solution and he has to coordinate with technical consultants for any necessary customization or development and uh, next one is testing and quality assurance so perform functional testing to ensure the system meets business requirements addresses any issues or bugs found during the testing and as i told change management that is facilitate the organizational change management required for implementing a new erp system help manage the transition and addresses resistance or challenges and continuous improvements and updates where he has to provide insights for system enhancements based on user feedback and business evolution and keep the system updated with the latest features and best practices so these are the major role of functional consultant in microsoft specifically in microsoft dynamics 365 business central so the key skill and competencies so what are the key skills and competencies of a business central functional consultant is what analytical skills analytical skills means ability to analyze business processes okay analyzing business processes and create optimal solution the next one is communication skill he should have excellent communication skill to interact with various stakeholders and translate technical jargon into a business language next one is a problem solving a strong problem solving skills to address business challenges through technology next one is a project management skill he should be proficient in managing projects timelines and resources and finally industry knowledge deep understanding of the specific industry they are consulting in so these are all the important key skills and competencies of any functional consultant okay so let us take a small scenario okay a retail company needing to improve its supply chain management so what is a functional consultant what he will be doing a functional consultant will assess current processes identify inefficiencies and recommend a tailored erp solution okay and i have a specific checklist for this as well so what he can do is understand the documents uh, that is a business requirements okay and analyze existing business process he has to analyze what is actually happening and then he has to do identify gaps and areas of improvement he has to identify the gaps and areas of improvements he has to recommend solutions and strategies and uh, assist in implementation and change management provide training and support to end users and continuously monitor and optimize the system post implementation these are the important checklist that every functional consultant should have okay so what he has to do when he is um, when he has uh, uh, he has any project to do so he has to understand everything 
analyze the thing and finally he has to go with the process management so this is an another important thing which i wanted to discuss with you all um this is my page you can go and check here if you go and check you can find the ebooks okay so mastering business central functional consultant q and a and this is al mastery uh, in three weeks that is 21 days boot camp content book content and this is microsoft dynamics al programming al programming interview questions okay so whatever we have discussed here in 21 days based on these things i have framed some 100 plus question not only 100 plus is 120 plus questions which are specifically on al programming whatever discussed here which is with the question answer scenario based question direct question and everything in this particular book okay so i will be leaving this link okay so you can find this link here if you just scroll down you can get it or else you can just click on this business central technical you can find the books business central function you can find the book and i'll be uploading the uh, future books also here ebooks here if you want it you can get it so all the indian residents can easily get it from here and if you are a foreign resident and if you want to avail the book please leave your comments so this is for your information and this 41 days bootcamp book is all will be available here in the future okay and the uh, intro uh, into the interview questions and everything will be updated here so please keep an eye on this so the next day that is tomorrow you can see the exercises for day one okay that is specifically uh, for the members if you want to join as a member you can join even if you want to access these ppts you have to be a member to access this ppts okay so tomorrow we will discuss about the um, exercise which are based on the day one whatever i have discussed so i'll be giving you a case study where you have to do some analysis okay and then the second exercise will be skill assessment fine you have to assess yourself i'll meet you tomorrow um take care bye